again welcome back to my channel welcome to today's tutorial in this video we are going to crochet this beautiful rainbow colors granny square it's so beautiful and it's very very easy to make so to make this granny square you're going to need seven colors of yarn and here are the seven colors that you're going to need to make this granny squares so go ahead and get your yarn colors ready and let's get started so i'm going to be using a size 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for this tutorial so you're going to start with your white color yarn you make a magic ring and chain one work two more chains so you have a chain of three your chain three count as your first double crochet so work two more double crochet next chain two and work three double crochets that's three double crochet now when you work three double crochet you're going to chain two and you're going to cut your yarn you leave it till and you're going to cut your yarn next you're going to take your next color yarn you yarn over and pull through your loop so you're going to continue with your round one you work three double crochet when you work your first double crochet you're going to knot this two next you're going to work two more double crochet chain two you work three double crochet you're going to pull and tighten your ring So you're having four clusters of three double crochets next you're going to chain two and you're going to cut your second color yarn to end your round one you're going to take back your white color yarn because you're going to continue with your white color you're going to yarn over and pull through your loop yarn over and pull through your loop and you're going to work a slip stitch on your chain three so you have one one two three on your chain three you work a slip stitch and you're going to go ahead and knot this two Now to begin your round two, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. 
and the next stitch you're going to work one double crochet so your chain three count as your first double crochet next stitch you work one double crochet and you get to your chain two space you work two double crochet next chain two and you work two double crochet So you're going to continue you work one double crochet on each of your double crochet stitch and you get to your chain two space you work two double crochets and you're going to chain two and now you're going to cut leave it here and cut your white color yarn and you take your next color yarn always make sure you leave a tail as well you yarn over and pull through your loop and you're going to work two double crochet and you knot this two And you're going to continue working so you work two double crochet you have two double crochet next you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet one double crochet in the next stitch you work one double crochet when you get to your chain two space you work two double crochet and chain two two double crochet next one double crochet on each of your double crochet stitch one double crochet one double crochet when you get to your chain two space you're going to work two double crochet you chain two and you're going to leave a tail and cut your yarn next you're going to take your white color yarn yarn over and you walk two double crochets so you walk it's one double crochet and two double crochet so go ahead and knot this two so when you've knot your two to end your round two you're going to work a slip stitch on your chain three one two three you're going to work a slip stitch with your white color to begin your round three you're going to chain three in the next stitch you're going to work one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet when you get to your chain two space you work two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in 
next you're going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch and i'll meet you here when you reach your chain two space you work two double crochets and chain two and leave it tail and cut your yarn you are going to take your next color yarn yarn over and pull through your loop you work two double crochets so you go ahead and knot go ahead and knot your two so you're going to continue so you've worked one double crochet you're going to work another double crochet so you have two double crochet and next you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch One double crochet in the next stitch you're going to work one double crochet and one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet in each stitch and one double crochet when you get to your chain two space you are going to work two double crochet there you have two double crochet there chain two and you work two double crochet and you're going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch and i'll meet you here when you are you are at your chain two space you work two double crochets and chain two and you're going to cut your you're going to leave a tail and cut your yarn now to end your round you're going to take again your white color yarn yarn over and pull through your loop And you work two double crochet don't forget to knot your two when you knot your two colors you're going to continue working one double crochet on each stitch you work one double crochet in the next stitch you are going to work one double crochet now to end your round you're going to work a slip stitch on your chain three one two three so you have one two three to begin your round four chain three one two three one double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to go ahead and work one double crochet in each stitch when you get to your chain two space you work two double crochet chain two and you continue working one double crochet in each stitch and i'll meet you here when you reach your chain two space work two double crochet chain two and leave a tail and cut yarn and take your next color and also leave a tail yarn over and pull through your loop work two double crochets
and next you're going to continue working one double crochet on each stitch and I'll meet you here when you are at your chain two space you you work two double crochet chain two and you're going to leave a tail you cut your yarn and you're going to take your white color yarn and you leave a tail as well yarn over and pull through your loop you work to double crochet and don't forget to knot your two colors so you're going to work two double crochets and next you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet you work one double crochet and one double crochet now to end your round you're going to work a slip stitch on your chain three one two three And to begin your next round which is one two three four so you're going to begin your round you're going to begin your round five so you're going to chain one two three you chain three and you're going to repeat the same pattern with uh, the remaining two colors so here are the two other colors that you are going to add and when you add your remaining two colors you're going to have a total of six round one two three four five six and you follow the pattern and you are here then you're just going then this is going to be your last round so added the last color and you continue with your white color yarn You're going to continue you work one double crochet in each stitch one double crochet one double crochet and one double crochet now to end your work you're going to work a slip stitch on top of your chain three not in not on your chain three but on top of your chain three you work first a slip stitch and you're going to leave it till and cut your yarn and you're going to yarn in your tail here you're going to yarn in this this one this two you make sure you yarn this one in you yarn it in When you're satisfied, you're going to cut that. You're going to cut it, and you're going to yarn this other, the white, the white color yarn as well, and then yarn this one in also.
So you go ahead and yarn in this white color as well. When you're done yarning in your tails, this is how your work is going to look like. And then when you turn it, this is how the back part is going to look like. What you're going to do is just to cut all this yarn. So you go ahead and cut everything. When you cut your excess tail, this is how your rough side is going to look like. And now you're going to turn it and this is how your cut side is going to look like. This is how your granny square is going to look like. So this is how your granny square is going to look like. So beautiful and very easy to make. So this is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.